Hi, welcome back to Corsica Drone. So today we have got the Runcam Split Mini V2. So let's have a look what you get in the box. So in the box you get the Split Mini, which is now on a single board. Your connector to go to your VTX. You can solder your road connectors on if you want to follow these here. That's where your SD card goes. And here are your buttons to start and stop recording. And this is the camera itself. Now also in the box you get some of the bits of that. You get a bag of spits. So this is the adapter to turn it from micro to normal. Get some standoffs, some screws and some connecting cables to connect this up to the unit itself from your, dr your drone you want to use it on. So the reason I bought this this is 1080p 60 frames per second. You'll have seen these all over the place. There's loads of videos on these. So the reason I bought this, I was going to buy a Cinewhoop type drone. So I hadn't decided which one I was going to buy, but that's what I decided to buy. But you probably guess from my channel, I have a lot of drones. So I really didn't want to go buy yet another drone, which would be some, too similar to something I already had before, just to get the Cinewhoop experience. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the run cam onto this. So this is the ET5 one. This is the ET125 V2, which you'll have saw with you on the other week. So to fit this, you have to get one of these. So this gets printed off. You print it on your 3D printer, I've printed this myself. And then it goes on that way around. So the camera will be at the back. So you have to reverse the motors and the board itself. So you don't have to do anything by touching anything. You don't need to take it in bits. You connect it to beta flight. You add a simple set of lines in underneath. Now, I'm not going to give you them because they're not mine, but I got them from Grace and Hobby. So if you want to check Grace and Hobby out on YouTube, it's a great channel. It's a shop in America, but they do some really good stuff, a lot of stuff on King Kong, and they show you how to do this, what I'm going to do here. And that will turn it, make it backwards, so the front will become the back, and the back will become the front. This goes on like this. You have some standoffs going here. Connect the camera up, reroute a couple of wires, and then this will become, to all intents and purposes, a silly whoop. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go put this together. And then, as I say, I'm not going to go through that bit. Check out Grayson Hobby's video on how to do that. I'm going to connect this up. And I'll show you it built. And then we'll get some footage, some flight footage, so I can show you what it's like. So, let's go build it. Okay, so I've fitted the unit itself. So this is the 3D part that I printed and the run cam board. I hope you can see that. It's not very great in it. Can, clips on there. So I bolted it on into these form, put these long nuts on the top. And then I've used brass standoffs to mount the whole thing up here. So the only thing you need to do is I'm gonna have to I'm gonna do this properly and reroute this. This is my antenna for the VTX. And then also inside here, you do the, the gap, it leaves a gap, a natural gap here, and that's where I put the buzzer and the LED. So if you turn it on, I believe you still can see the LED shining through the top. There you go. So I don't have the LED board at the back, I now have it here. So you can see that it shines through there. The battery's completely flat virtually because I just hammered it outside. So, and then all this I had to buy separately with these, well I have them, the two and a half mil screws that go through there. So this is it fitted. So I'm going to leave you with some footage that's filmed outside. So all I've done is took this out in the garden, because the weather's not great here as you're going to see from the video, it's very grey. And just, you can, you're going to have a, be able to see at least what the video quality looks like coming from this. It records in 1080p, 60 frames per second, 30 megabits per second, which is very good. Considering a lot of the other drones don't even do that and you're going to see the quality. It is a very grey day. Now the other thing you can do, which I'm about to do, is this one is take off these. You don't have to have these on. So I am going to take them off because I'm very close. As you can see, it's really close to the camera. It isn't quite touching, but it just is. Uh, if you have your camera further down, you don't clear, but you're still going to have these in your shots. It's up to you. I've got them in the shots you're going to see because I quite like it that way. I can see kind of where I'm going. So this is the M12 lens in this one. This is the latest version. So this costs, I think it's 50, 53 or £54 pound for the camera. And then if you want to buy a 3D printed one of these, you can buy them off various places. I printed my own. So 
and I think these come in at about a tenner and then you're going to need some a bits of that. Probably another tenner, so you're probably going to have about 70 quid to make this unit and then put it on what, onto one of these. This will fit the 125 also, <coughs> 115 because it was actually made for 115. I've just put it on the 125. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think the run cam makes a massive difference and I've now got what I wanted on a drone that I know flies really well and that I like and that I can fly very well. I'm really happy with this drone. So you'll see from the video footage that's coming up what it looks like. It's only like a minute of outside. I haven't flown it around. I've just hovered it and did everything else just so you can see what the camera quality looks like. Have a fantastic day. Thank you very much.